Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven and welcome back to a Goodwill thrift along with me. So let's look at the knicky knacks and let's see if there's anything good here today. The shelves are pretty loaded. What is this? The bag of goodies. Oh, these are so cute. Probably better for Valentine's Day, but these are adorable. Oh my goodness. Whole bag for six bucks. Do mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab those for sure. All right, I added that to my cart. Let's see what else they got. Lots of bells. Ooh, a trivet. I love me some trivets. This one is very vibrant. A Las Vegas. Uh, kind of reminds me of that like spray paint art. Two bucks. Love that. Can never pass up a good trivet. If you're wondering what this other stuff in my cart is, make sure you see the last video. This is actually a part two to that video. There was quite a bit in the store today. I'm obsessed with how full the shelves are today. This is like my old Goodwill. They used to have them this filled up. And I'd have to dig and it was awesome. There's some something back here that's knocked over. Let's see what this is. Let me stand you back up. Why oh, you're cute. <laughs> One of those like 70s, 80s figurines. Cute little bird on it. I don't think this is Glassy Baby. Glassy Baby looks different than that, I'm pretty sure, but it looks pretty solid. Two bucks, like a nice, uh, like a root beer brown. What is this? Is this like a bonsai tree or something? A souvenir piece? I don't know. It's kind of different. Huge stack of like a Mother's Day, or I guess those are Easter plates. I've never seen the Easter ones. I love the Mother's Day ones. They're so cute. Got a little Irish slate piece here. Uh, Irish stuff actually sells pretty well for me. Um, let's see. Looks pretty good. I don't see a price on it though. It's such a pain when they don't have the stickers on it because they are always like, I need to send this out back and stuff, so I don't know. I'll think about it. I see I see how the lines are when it's time to check out. I don't want to hold people up. I'm trying to uncover these plates back here. I, I do pretty well selling decorative wall plates, um, especially the ones that have like the built-in strings in the back where it's already like cemented holes in it. Another cute trivet. Lots of souvenir trivets here today. It's good. I like them. We got a, a wooden dog. A little poodle here. <laughs> It looks like there's like a crack right down its like face though, so clink will pass. Yeah, let's see what these plates are. You know, here's one of the, like the Mother's Day ones. Um, some fancy plates. Nothing much there. Then, yeah, here's the Easter ones. That's super specific. Easter 93, Easter 94. Must have been a tradition for them to get one each year. Here is a nice brass piece in the candle section. We got some butterflies and a little bit of copper and brass. Very cool. It's a little candlestick as well. Six dollars on that. That's cute. They might add this to my a 70s sale. We'll see. If it'll fit, but I'm having a 70s train on whatnot on Tuesday. I see a pie plate down here. I do pretty good selling those as well, so I always like to pick them up if they're not too pricey. Cherry pie. It's cute. Oh, it was supposed to be in the handpick section. It's 15, so I'm gonna have to leave that. That's about what they'll go for. I'm getting my weekly squat exercises in today. <laughs> Everything's so low. This is cool. A hand painted tray. Well, there's not really anything little about it. It's four bucks, but it's quite large. Um, I don't think I want to ship that. It's just too big. 
So they had some trivets down here. These are all wood framed. Oh, look at this one. Uh, I'm so getting that. That is so me. <laughs> Two bucks. I definitely have a trivet addiction. It's kind of a problem of mine, but uh, yeah, I just can't pass them up and they're useful. They're decorative and you can use them for, you know, a hot plate or a coaster. So very cool. I love that Vermont one as well. Vermont is one of my favorite states. I love New England. Additional trivets under here, it looks like. What do we got? Quebec. It's just some tiles. Some plates. One, one of these looks pretty promising under here. It looks, yeah, that's what I thought it might be. God bless her home. Oh, it's so fun. It has like the uh, friendship birds on it. Two bucks, and it already has the attachment at the back. So you can hang it on the wall. Perfect. Let's check this out, guys. Look at this. <laughs> it's a cat choir. This is a wild. There's a lot going on here. I'm very tempted to get this for the next cat train or even the trippy bell train that we're doing again. Uh, <laughs> And this is a super cute vase for Christmas. It has the friendship birds again. It's adorable. Like two dollars on that. What is this? Is this supposed to be like a butter churner? I don't care what it is. I love it. <laughs> it looks so 1970s. Little chip there. It's so cute. Yeah, I think it's a butter churner. What do you guys think? bucks on it. I wish I didn't have that chip. That's pretty cool. I love this moose lamp. What is up with all the lamps that are donated never having lampshades though? Like why are the lampshades always missing? Makes it so challenging to uh, pick up lamps because you're like it just it's so hard to find the matching shade. I like that. That would be really nice for a camp. A bear. Oh that's cute. It's been custom made. That's definitely not a bear. <laughs> oh, I spy something on the top shelf. Let's see if I can get it down. What is this? It's not cruel. I, what is this? Is it like felting? What do they call this? It's like dimensional. It's like pillowed behind it. There's some staining. It looks, looks like corduroy. Like a corduroy church. There's a rip there. NMC. It's cute. It's pretty damaged though. It's only four dollars. Part of me wants to rescue it, but I mean, it's kind of gnarly. All the staining and the tears. It's cool. I hope someone gets it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. Oh, this looks exciting. What is this? Oh, it's so cute. Look at the little bird on the fence post too. Oh, so, so cute. I love the colors. That's great. $25 for a set. What's the set? It's also a handpick sticker, so someone moved this over here from the handpick section. So I was not expecting to see $25 on that. Oh, here's the other one. Okay, so she's washing a dog. I don't know how... How is that a pair, though? Like, obviously, they look... Looks similar, but I mean, they're the subject matter is very different, it seems to me. I don't think I would display, I feel like I'd display the dog one in a bathroom, maybe, and the other one would be more like a living room or like a bedroom art. They're so cute, though. So, I did find this. There's a couple of great 1970s pictures here, and they're two dollars each. Look at this one if you're pushing 50, that's exercise enough. <laughs> So these are from the 70s and only $2 each. I have chicken, so this piqued my interest. And dancing eggs. I'm going to check this out. I am curious. $4. So what do they do? How do they dance? <laughs> Let's open it up. Okay. Those are kind of grody, but I don't quite get it. Just some dice and some like rubber eggs in there. Let me know if you guys have ever played. Off to the linens. Let's see what we can find. 
I thought that was like a really cool like bed sheet or something, but it was a like vinyl uh, tablecloth. I don't like the feel of the vinyl ones. I know they wash nicely, but I don't know. I can't stand the texture of it. It grosses me out. What is this? It's a wall calendar from, is that the 2000s? I didn't know they made these in the 2000s. Can't quite see it. Let's take it off the hanger. What a beautiful home, God. I could sing for joy. A psalm on here, 2010. That's so interesting to me. I didn't know they still made these Lenin calendars into the 2000s. I was trying to decide if this was older or not. It kind of had a older look to it. Uh, dig the florals. They're asking five on it. The pillowcase is separate. And a, I guess it's additional $2. Um, yeah, they definitely look older, like a 60s, 70s to me, but I'm not seeing any tags, so it's hard to tell. Oh, here's a kitty cat item. It has a little crack in the wood, though. That stinks. It looks like there was a knot in the wood where it cracked. Two bucks. Still really cute. I think I'll leave it behind because of the crack, though. You guys, look what I just found. Goosey gooses. These are so cool. They're asking $10 each on these uh, pots. Cooking pots, I guess. I've never seen these. Enameled pots. I've never cooked with these. I don't know how they cook and, you know, the safety and everything. I mean, I use, like, cast iron and stainless steel. Um, I'm kind of particular about my cookware. And this is cute. Nice little beadwork on it. Egg-shaped. <laughs> It's adorable. Look at this dress. Look at this dress. Look at this dress. <laughs> I love it. It's a little wrap dress. It looks so 60s, 70s. Uh, I think 70s is when the wrap dresses kind of became real popular, right? Let's see. Is it cotton? Is it 100% cotton? Perfect. So I pulled a few of the cookbooks. These are the ones I'm going to pick up today. Uh, we got the Family Circle one here, $2. The red tags are actually half off today, so that's perfect. And then uh, this is another one in that Family Circle series. We got Great Desserts, uh, $2, so it was only a dollar as well. Sweet Puddings, um, that one's on sale as well. And then we have an Irish cookbook, a grab. Um, it's always interesting to see the different recipes. Uh, we do Irish dinner and a lot of Irish cooking in March, especially. We got this Julia Child book. And then look at how big this is. as a thick read. I love reading cookbooks, so that's great. All right, so let's go over everything that I picked up at Goodwill today. What I'm selling, where I'm selling it, and a couple of things that I'm keeping. And so I did pick up this brass butterfly wall sconce. This will go in my 1970s train over on Whatnot on Tuesday, November 7th. I also picked up this for the same 70s train on Whatnot. God bless our home, a nice wall decor plate. It already has the built-in hanger at the back. And I picked up the both of these framed 70s little sayings here. I thought they were super cute and a little bit cheeky, a little fun. So I couldn't resist those. Uh, yeah, they're in the older frames as well. Uh, the frame does have a little bit of wood wear to it, but you know, the aesthetic is there. I think they're totally fine and still really great. So yeah, those would be on the 70s train. So these Bone China bunnies were in that little baggie marked $6, and it looks like they're duplicates here. I know these are sell better around Valentine's Day, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with them. I might put a few of them up on Crazy Lamp Lady's new platform, Knickknacks. If you guys want to check that out, I will link it down below, but yeah, I might hang on to most of them for Valentine's Day. And this is one of the trivets I got and I'm keeping. I'm trivet obsessed, so um, have a whole trivet wall. <laughs> and I do use them. So I love this one. Very cute. And here is the other trivet I got for myself. They're only $2 each, which I thought was a great price. I love Vermont. I love New England. It's just the best. It's I just love it so much. So I was very happy with this find. And I got this one here. I love the vibrant colors of the Las Vegas one. It has the Circus Circus of the Clown. And yeah, super fun. So I will list this one up on Knickknacks.
And then this, I, I don't know, it was just so weird I had to get it. You guys know I do the Trippyville train with Yvonne. She hosts that and we're doing another one. And we also do a cat train every now and again on whatnot as well. So I think I'm probably going to save it for that unless someone here is like super interested in it. But it was just so weird I had to get it. Little cat choir. There's a lot going on. Look at this. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a little wall decor play and yeah. You could look at it for days, like there's so much happening here. It's funny. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and click that button down below. If you're not, hit the like button and we will catch you in the next one.